Hello, my name's Matt. And my name's Jordan. And welcome to the server that we've been working on over the past few weeks. Um, it's sort of been why we've not had videos going up as frequently, because we've been busy on this as well as other stuff. Um, yep. It's basically a very old server that we've had. Well, sort of, I ran with the hosts, and Jordan was on a bit at the time, but not really as much. And um, basically it was a very old server where you... I've always said that. Um, what, what do you reckon the year was? Like 2010? I know, that's what I'm trying to 2009? I think, it was, I think it may have been 2009. And basically what it was, it was a, a server we put on Planet Minecraft during Planet Minecraft's first few months of existence. And it got to um, second most popular on the, on the website. and became a very popular server as well. But over time we sort of like let it die. We didn't fix problems with it and stuff like that. And it just sort of, it sort of went down. And then it went down for ages, so it sort of died, yeah. And um, basically we've been rebuilding it a lot better than it was before. We've decided to give it a bit more of a nice theme. Well, spawn. the very, very first one was sort of like player-built, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was very player-built. So it was all like all over the show, and because we've done all these other projects as well, we're now able to build structures. Yeah. And yeah. actually like, know what's going on yeah. like with cities and things. It does take a lot of skill. Yeah. So all the, um, first of all, all the terrain is custom. It's custom terrain. Which I really like. So there's no normal Minecraft in this server at all. And it's yeah. split up into separate worlds, like different actual world files. And everything's on its own world file, which means when we want to add new stuff, it's very easy to do that. So we can keep adding new yeah. things. And basically the main point of this server is that everyone gets their own plot inside a city. And they can do whatever they can They can get their own plot. Yeah, it's not can. like they, they start off with, you have, you have oh, to yeah, buy it. You have to go and buy it. So at the moment we've got one city set up, split into three districts. Um, the reason it's split up into three districts is they could all be their own city, really. They're pretty big. But it's just that they're on the same island, which is its own world file, pretty much. So, new mode. We'll go to the set. Change to game mode as well when we go through the portals. That's a bit annoying. Okay, so this is a, new, a different world. Um, you can see the squares on the floor. They're plots that people can buy. Um, if you go down And they're, to they're always against the uh, road. Yes, they are, are, yeah. So, so that yeah. one's actually been sold. Um, Has it? Yeah, it was to Fabulous Cody. Is. All right. That's it for some reason that we've set as rank as That's that. That's so cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And then you, you know, it says by region, then the name of the plot, and then the price, which is a hundred. Um, but that it will, it's it's got its own currency system using a plugin. So that's what that is. And is there going to be a way to sell plots? Yes, you will be able to sell your plots. Back. Because I feel that there should be bigger plots that cost more. Yeah. Because if you are thing. only allowed one, well, we can do that. Yeah. That's what we'll be doing eventually. That was actually the plan. We'll probably yeah. these are sixteen by sixteen. These plots. So it's a, it's a that's not bad for a hundred. Um, so we'll probably have 32 by 32 for 400 because, you know, four times bigger. Yeah, stuff like that. I get it. It's so good. if I'm just, I'm just going to do fly speed um, 10. And I'm going to go, because there are three portals, we're in the central district at the moment. The southern district is this direction, so I'm just going to fly quickly. And you'll be able to see just how big the world actually is. And keep in mind, that was actually the centre. It goes off in the other direction, the same distance. So yeah. we come up to a swamp. Um, yeah. It's I'm not, following it. I know, it's not loading up for me because... It's loading up for me. Frapsing, which is oh, really right. nice. It goes off in all directions. It's huge. So if we keep going this Jesus. way, this swamp is enormous. Um, it is. Fucking hell. And there we go. We come out here. Oh, yeah. And there wow. we go. This is the, um, the southern district. So I'm just going to fly speed again. Back to fly one. speed two. There we go. Because that's what I have it set as. Fair enough, yeah. And then the northern district is actually further ahead as well. No, it's the opposite direction. It's the, the southern district. So, yeah, these are huge. Now, the reason it's so big is not only we can we can cram more plots, well, not cram, we've got no like issue with space, we can put more plots in, but if we go back to the spawn, the wilderness in between the cities, that's just what we call it, it's called the wilderness. We're going through? Yeah, we're going back through. Right. Um, that's going to be filled with stuff like, we wanted our, we wanted RuneCraft to be like um, RPG and stuff. Uh, that didn't really work. Um, but we've got a better idea with this server. What we're going to do is we're going to have dungeons, which you can... Which give which you... was initial idea for uh, RuneCraft. Yeah. It never except, got... Except that it's going to happen on this server. <laughs> <laughs> and basically what it is, is you'll get teleported into the dungeon. Um, you can do it with friends, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to ask about that. Um, there's mobs in there, and then at the very end, you get loot, and you get teleported out. So, so it'll almost be like a World of Warcraft, sort of like... Not raid, what's the other one's called? Dungeon. Oh, <laughs> okay. Fair enough. That's where the name comes from, George. And um, <laughs> that, so, if you, you can do you can do the dungeon as many times as you want, but you won't be able to just farm the items. You'll have to run the dungeon every single time you want to get it. So you better like swords and not really so much swords because you can get those in the shop over there. 
Um, there'll be things oh yeah, like, we need to show the shop know, as well. Yeah. There'll be things like item enchantments and potions and other things. Come here, come other here, I like things. this. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm coming to this. And other weird <laughs> things such like um, pumpkin seeds, because you can't actually get pumpkin seeds anywhere else. Um, but if you want to set up a pumpkin farm and sell pumpkins to make money, which is actually a really good money maker, I'd suggest that. Is that then, what that guy you did on the uh, server last time? Yeah, no, he did a cactus one, but equally you can't oh. get cactus in this world. I made sure there's none. So cactus can be also a reward from a Can dungeon. you buy them for... Oh, right, okay, so you yeah. just get them for rewards. Uh, yeah, so they're sell only in the shop. You won't be able to buy them. Well, you can buy, pumpkin. yeah, you can buy pumpkins in the shop, but you won't be able to get seeds. So that's why pumpkins and melons are good. But that idea, we're coming on to this now at last, um, the idea of dungeons went into a different idea. That can be called a combat challenge instead, and then this is a jump challenge, which is exactly the same, except rather than doing combat to get to the reward... You have to you jump. jump to get to the reward. Now the thing is with this, is it almost reminds me of Guild Wars 2 with the like little vet. Yeah, like the jumping puzzles, puzzles, yeah. Now, yeah. I mean obviously it's oh, a lot harder oh my than God, that. I'm not, I can't believe We're not gonna be able to get up here, by the way. Yeah, no. It this is forever. this is actually a challenge, this one, but this is super hardcore, like I actually, Jesus Christ. I actually had a bit of practice with this since I built it, so I know. If if we make like an actual parkour map on to this extent, like oh. yeah, I know. just teleport to me, I'll just fly yeah. fine. So, well, yeah, basically, this massive thing, if you fly up to the top as well. Yeah, no, it, it's, a, it's a good challenge. So, the idea of the wilderness in the other worlds, because at the moment there's only two, there's, well, four, but we'll come to that in a second. There's this one in the city world. Um, in between all the spaces where there's nothing going on, we'll be filling with parkour challenges, like jump challenges even, and, and then combat challenges. And if you come up here, it says loot, um, you press it. And cities, don't forget that. Oh yeah, I just think it'd be really cool to have loads of loads of little cities going about, or little villages. Even. Oh yeah, um, we'll be well. Yeah, I'm thinking like the most expensive plots, like the 32 by 32 ones. They could actually be on this island, couldn't they? Like really close to the spawn to be. Ultra also, cool. I'm thinking about uh, the pre-built houses in little villages could be bought. You know, yeah. in, like the wilderness. Yes, we that, not that do was, that. That well. was actually an idea. Yeah, so not only will there be big cities, but in the wilderness you may like stumble across other plots, and they'd be. And they could already be built with an interior in them and stuff. Yeah, and you can already buy the... It's no, no, just, not an interior, just the house, because yeah. they will do the interior. I mean, just the possibilities that we that you can do with this plugin that we've got is great. We can put plots anywhere, so... And also, yeah, it's just... I mean, the server just gives you freedom to do whatever you want, play an, a massive MMO world, almost. Yeah, it's like there's a real incentive to go exploring, because you'll come across d different challenges. Like, what we're thinking of doing is, since... Um, melon seeds and pumpkin seeds for farming at least will be a massive money maker um, d the jumping challenge or the or the um, combat challenge for that will be either really well hidden or really hard and I'm thinking just both because, yeah. because that is a really good money making system this is on to the next bit isn't it now yeah, these two portals um, for any people who may have pointed out is if you can't destroy stuff and you, like, including trees and stuff how do you get wood and other blocks Like, there's not much to build your house out of like you, yeah, we mentioned the shop, but you and also you don't have any money because exactly, you can't. Yeah. How would you make money? Because there's nothing to sell if you don't have. It's a catch twenty two, sort of thing, but it's not. You just can't do it. Um, so the solution to that are these two worlds. These are called mine lands. So we've got Mount Titan over here. Which one should we go um, to? Forgotten lands. Well, I Forgot prefer the Forgotten lands, but Mount Titan was first, so I'm gonna go into here. Okay. So that sounds oh, legit. Weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Weather. Clear. There we go. Um, <laughs> oh. Game of one. So, right, okay, can I read these? Yep, go on. Welcome to Mount Titan. This is a mine land, meaning it resets periodically. So is it every single day? A um, bit different to that. I'll, okay, I'll well, whatever. Second, yeah. Let's say I punch something in a whenever time, periodically, it will respawn. So whatever you build here, whatever you place, whatever you put in chests will go yeah. eventually. Or, to put so, it in a yeah. different way, everyone can destroy everything in here. So what you could do is, since you can sell dirt, if you really want to do that, you could go... You could decimate that entire mountain over there, take all the dirt and sell it at the shop. You will be able like this is where you'll get your wood from. You can go mining for ores. We've set custom amounts of ores down there. So there's all sorts. This is a massive custom world. This island alone is bigger than Runecraft. It's a huge Which is mentally world. big. It is massive. Yeah. You can explore it wherever the hell you want. You can break whatever the hell you want. And then the next time you come on, it'll be exactly the same. Because yeah. it'll have reset. So the thing with that means that You have a constant supply of and you also need. get to know the world, so it's almost like World of Warcraft. You know where to go to get to the next city, yeah. and then you can come back. And you know the route in between it. This will never change. 
So you'll become really familiar with this world and then the other world. Yeah. It just is an MMO. It's great. And also a good thing with this world is, is using the plugins that we've got, we can add things to here. Like We can make it like a ruined castle or something and then save that to the prototype of this world so that you could destroy the castle. But it'll, it'll magically come back when the world resets. But we can add all sorts of stuff into the castle. So we can have chests full of like custom loot and things. So like if there are anything that we've missed that you can't get, we can just add it in like that. So I'm gonna there's not much really to show by flying around. It sort of looks like this like everywhere. But this this is the mountain. It'll, it goes all up to the height limit going that way. So that's quite a big hill, you know. So, it's not a hill. It's a mountain. You just well, said. yeah. You, you know what I mean. You know. What <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you mean. So we'll go. We'll go to the Forgotten Lands now. They are very similar, except this is a jungle one, and it reminds me of Jurassic Park, and that's why I like this one. It's raining as well. The, so these are the other two worlds we mentioned before. You know, there's four. There's Spawn, the city oh, yeah. which is New Maud, and then there's these two. And there are going to be more when we need more cities, but this, we're not really struggling for space. At the yeah, I was going to say that we don't need to make any more worlds. Yeah, but we have got six. I was just saying, we have got enough. To yeah, go. it, it's huge, this world. So, you know, like, I, you'll, you'll never not find somewhere new. Yeah. I'm yeah. certain about it. So I, I quite like this one. You see, do you see why I like it? It's more... Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. It's like hilly. It's bright. It's got no barely any trees, it feels like. Yeah. Well, actually, that's just in the middle. It does have trees, but you know, the I... edges of the mount, around the edges of the of this mine land, um, it's like a mountain range with really dense jungles, which means we could hide stuff in here and things like that. It's just you know what we what stuff we can do with it. We can be really creative, and it's a really nice idea. It's really hilly as well, so you could actually like break under all these hills and things and go yeah. and explore yeah. in them. And there'll be mobs in this world, won't there? Oh yeah, things will spawn. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's basically just like playing Minecraft. In a world that is more epic, yeah, and you yeah. know about it. pretty much. So I've just gone out of that mine land now. Um, I think the only thing left to show is the shop, really. So you have you have your plots. You can go to mine land and get all sorts of resources. You've run a jumping puzzle. You've got some stuff. You've gone to your plots. You've set up farms and things like that. The reason farms are that good is because it's the only sort of renewable thing you can do, except for like um, you could do like a cobblestone generator or something like that. But cobble isn't really as high yield, but you can get more of it. It's, you know as it sort of all works like that. Um, but I'd say farms and cobblestone generators are the best things to do in your plot. The main way of making money is going to mine land and stripping it pretty much. And then coming to the shop. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot about the shop. Craftier shop. And then up here. Yeah, so we'll That's go silly. here. The shop in the old craftier was a big vault sort of thing. Yeah, was, I didn't really like it. I wasn't it, really keen on it. It was a bit rubbish. So I decided to make it so that this is actually like all outdoors. Kind of like a car boot sale. That's and that. it's really clear open land you can you can look around the place and go okay that's where that is and just go to it and it's yeah. just so much easier so we've got over here we've got wooden tools wooden tools are free so you can get as many of those as you want um you know because it's just better um, all the types of wool you can buy and sell um then over here um i sort of had this evil idea of like monopolizing oh. certain blocks so like for example mossy cobblestone nether rack nether brick Glowstone, soul sand, and end stone, you can't get at all because you can't go, can't go to the end yet, and you can't go to the Nether because it doesn't exist on this world. So, if you want to get those blocks, you have to buy them from the shop. So, I'm just making them stupidly expensive. As you can tell, five blocks of glowstone costs two and a half plots. It's quite a bit. So you know. Yeah, I know, but but when you're selling things like uh, they go ten clay. Or, I'm just trying to look for a really simple one, but they're not over there. Like cobblestone and things. Let's go over here because I can see it. Dun 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 dun! 64 for 15. So, I mean, in one trip of mining, with the free tools that you pick up, you could easily afford a plot. So, people. Well, you start out, with, you, enough, you start out with enough money for a plot. You just want to make that. No, point. 90. Well, yeah, just less. So, you have to do Just less. So, it. one set of cobblestone, then you can buy a plot. Yeah, well, the pl plots are supposed to be easy to get since that's like the main it's part. The plot, it's the plot that's the easy bit to get, then it's the building it up and becoming the best on the server that's the yeah. tough part. So, like, this bit so, is. Yeah. Um, there's a few, I thought there were some signs that weren't ready. Oh, yeah, it's the redstone. There are, they're over here, yeah. Yeah. So, these. This is the reason the server's not up yet. There's five signs that I've not placed. We need to decide prices for pistons, sticky pistons, three types of rail. Um, to be honest, they don't actually need to be there except for a sticky piston because you can craft everything else. But, you know. Doesn't matter. Well, hey, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it, really. The only yeah. It's just there's so much stuff we can add. Like As you can tell, this part is pretty big just for the shop. 
Oh. Also, if anyone is watching up to this part, sorry, man, but yeah, go we've got we've got a PMC that's going to go up, which is Planet Minecraft um, of Crafty of the server when it does go live, so people will know if they check that out. We'll post it on the Twitter. We'll probably be making another video close to the time of it coming out. I yeah, hope. we'll just put a video up for it. Same we'll put up a video of it coming, like you know, coming soon oh, with we're it. A trailer for it, George. Come on. Yeah. Okay. That. Okay. You've said it now, so it's going to happen, right? We're making a trailer on it when it's coming out. I didn't want to say it and put you under pressure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's free reads, free ways at the moment. We might even like you know just throw it on forums and things as well. And so basically, there's going to be loads of ways that you can stay connected to look after, look out for craftier. And uh, we sort of wanted to connect more with the people about this because it's such a community-based server. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's pretty ambitious. Yeah. It's pretty ambitious as well. So we need all the support we can get with people. Um, actually coming on the server, spreading it to the friends, playing about with it. It worked last sick. time. so that's, it did last, work, that's exactly yeah. what happened last time. So it the reason I mentioned the PMC page is because when it's up, if you guys could, I don't know, throw it to your friends who play Minecraft or you play online with, all that stuff, and just check it out, basically. Get ready for when it comes online. Yeah. And also as well, this server's going to be constantly updated. Like At the moment, there's one jumping puzzle. It's not and it's not ideal. I mean, the old craftier didn't have those at all. It was literally just plots and mine lands, and that was fine. And that, and the shop as well, of course. And that the server sort of ran itself. Everyone just it, it was really fun to play on. But we just think adding these extra things to get certain items is just a fun fun way of doing it, really. So, yeah, check it out when it's up. We'll make a video on it, like I said. And that's pretty much it, really, isn't there? There's not much. It is indeed. Else. There's not much else to cover. So, I think from there, anything else to say, George? Uh, we will see you in the next video.